the root cause for the lack of access that people with disability or impairment have is the stigma and the discrimination that they face um, from the very beginning, uh, since, since birth. So that, that stigma, that discrimination is, is there and, and it's very, very powerful and it can, it can make you feel very isolated. Uh, you have no access uh, to healthcare, no access to social care. Um, you feel as if uh, you've, been, you've been abandoned, especially in these places that are incredibly rural. It's very easy when you hear the phrase assistive technology to assume that we're sending um, these incredible bionic prosthetics uh, around the world so everybody, everybody with, with limb loss uh, can start walking again, but it's much, much, much simpler than that. It's the things that you and I would perhaps take for granted. Things like a hearing aid, um, a, pair, a pair of glasses, uh, even, even a walking stick. The, these, are, these are the basic, the basic things that, that aren't, that aren't in, in great circulation. It's, it's for these reasons uh, that we are working in collaboration with the International Paralympic Committee, the University of Malawi uh, and other local stakeholders and organisers on the ground to ensure that these, these barriers are overcome. I think para-sport and the Paralympic Games naturally has gone a long way to improving uh, the awareness and the perception that others have of, of, those, of those with an impairment. And the, uh, the knock-on effect of that as well is, is offering more opportunities, hopefully, for those with disabilities um, around the world. We are really excited uh, to provide the opportunity and the chance for those that haven't seen the Paralympic Games before to witness something incredible uh, and see something that we all had the privilege of seeing during London 2012, during Rio 2016, uh, and bring the incredible feats of the athletes that, that we know and love uh, to, onto the television screens of people across across the regions of Africa that we're, that we're working in. We know that these power athletes are a huge source of inspiration and a huge force of positive change. So I truly believe that through the IPC and their hopes in broadcasting a greater number of events in these places they've never seen them before, we can hopefully inspire, inspire the change that we want to see.